Yo, what is up guys? Up here, welcome back to a video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get the necklace, which is uh, on the screen right now. All you gotta do, right, obviously it's on the hunt map. We got this massive mansion over here. Um, it's optional if you want to talk to this man or not, but you do learn a bit more information about this. Uh, I did talk to him just in case, like, there's some sort of, like, uh, challenge or whatever. So, the, the, what we're going to be doing is this one. I currently already have it, as you guys can see. But all you have to do is you go over here. And then you vote the creatures five times. So, you go here. You look at these. You choose what's best. You click um, tap to vote. And then that's it. Once you've done that five times. And then you should get the achievement. Or if not, just go over here. Click it. But... The reason why I'm also getting these is because there could be a possibility, not guaranteed, but a possibility that they could be limited. So, you know, you could either take the risk and uh, invest in them, or you could be safe, spend your Robux on something else. But I'm taking the risk to get all of these. Um, of course, they can only do one per day. Um, there is another thing. Uh, I haven't found the pure light va la lantern. That's gonna be for another video. The first one I am gonna show you is the limited edition uh, one, which is only 13 hours. It costs 125 robux. Another thing that you can also get is the cursed version of these. It does cost around about 80 robux. I plan to get the entire pack, um, so I'm gonna spend 600 robux. Obviously not right now because I'm a poor boy. Another thing is you can get the orange horns and to get those all you gotta do is you choose uh, you go into a random game and then there would be like a little camera in the corner well on the side I shouldn't say you click it and then what you do is you go into captures like here's a picture that I've done and then you uh, submit it to you click onto that you select creatures and you press submit and then you join the game you click on to inspect and then you end up getting a badge and collecting it. And today we're going to be doing a tutorial on how to get the Smash Pumpkins. So, um, they usually go anywhere around the map. So, you can see that uh, this person, Mud, he's a creator. You just walk over them and click them. And you will have an achievement that will show here. Which doesn't show for me because I already have it. And the same thing here, this is the Roblox admin, they AFK, they're launching them, you click onto them, walk around them a bit, and then you get another achievement here. And of course there is a third one, which is called the Developer Pumpkin, and it's kind of in the name what you got to do. You've now got to find a developer. Now, I haven't come across a developer yet. Uh, if I do come across a developer, I will upload it. But yeah, I'll come back and see you guys when we found them. Bye-bye.